playwright John O'Keefe and his wife are on their way to Limelight Books in San Francisco. John has been invited to do a reading of his just published play, I, I I'm The Detherians. I'm, I'm interested in seeing what people will think. This is truly uh, untrammeled snow. Number one, when you first come in, you think about there's nobody, not going to be anybody there, and your entire life has been really a stupid, egotistical thing. And it's fine, egotistical, but they should be there that it's better, right? For you, doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, vegetarian or carnivore, earth lover, yuppie or Sue. Everybody's trying too hard. You're nothing but glorified lard. He's a language artist. He has a tremendous. Uh, facility with language and with all the all the permutations of language and the language of action. He gets up and addresses the muggers in the bushes, gradually becoming more irate. Now that Jesus has taken over their silly country, you'd think they'd behave. But what do we have here? These American illegals flooding our city, crawling out of the sewers. They make the most distasteful streets scum. O'Keefe's so reputation spreads pretty far and pretty wide. He's been on the scene for some 40-some years. He created the Blake Street Hawkeyes with a number of other people and started with the street theater. He was at the Magic Theater in the very beginning of the Magic Theater. He's nationally known. Survival of the fittest! Survival of the fittest! Your name's on the list! <laughs> Thank you for coming and listening to my, my, my poetry. <laughs> Thank you for not leaving. Since the 70s, John has had an enduring presence in Bay Area alternative theater. Hey, good to see you, man. Yeah, yeah, Bobby, how you doing? Though he's found critical success over the years, winning multiple theater awards, making a living as a playwright is an ongoing struggle. But at Project Arto, a community of over 70 artists, he's not alone. It's inspiring because there's a certain synergy that happens, but almost it's in the air. That's incredible. Yeah, I just finished it. Jeez. Well, I'm working on it. It's almost finished. Dale is just across from my studio, and I, I can see him working. And whenever I get really depressed and think like, oh, I'm really, why am I doing this stuff? What's going on? I got no money, you know, gigs, whatever is going on. And I see Dale going on and on. It's just an inspiration. John is hard at work on a brand new play. Queer Theory is a commission for the Cinnabar Theater, part of his ongoing collaboration with the company. Cinnabar and, and John O'Keefe have had a great relationship so far. We have four plays under our belt. Well, Queer, Queer Theory is actually the fourth play. All of these plays have gone on to, to greater fame and glory, so to speak. In times like these, the middle play actually garnered all the critics' awards in L.A. last year. I get basically the idea of the play, and then I try to surprise myself. I mean, I work very carefully on structure. And that's the most important thing, because I don't think you think plays are about literature, it's about product, it's about performance. The play is I've been working on for seven months, and it's kind of at a halfway point, but now I've really discovered a lot of neat things, but it's not been neat for a real long time. So it's been a, a hard battle, but now I'm beginning to kind of overcome it, and now I think it's it might happen. Hey, John. The doorbell. I know, it's Please been out of order for Two hours. months from the opening of Queer Theory, the cast and set designer gather to read through John's script for the first time. Oh, really? Yeah, got a new doggy. You have a new dog. Oh. Ellie Lichtenstein is the artistic director of Cinnabar Theater, and now she's also trying her hand at acting. John wrote the part of Rebecca Walsh specifically for her. Actor Laura Jorgensen will play the role of Anne Ingersoll. Well, is this, it? this, is, this is it. Oh, wow. This is it. It isn't done. <laughs> surprise, uh, surprise. <laughs> see? Surprise, surprise. See? It opens in a thunderstorm, and uh, a very well-known gender theorist uh, who is, 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 is stuck there, and she thought she had, you know, a cottage to herself. I was told there would be accommodations in town, and I find myself five miles off a dirt road in a gully, and there is someone in my room. And she winds up in this cottage with this woman. 
and the woman is Anne Ingersoll, and she's never been to Europe, and she chatters all the time. And by the end of the play, they become very, very close. So I guess it's my husband and me? It sounds more natural, at least where I come from. And where is that? Iowa. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> That's what everybody says when I'm from Iowa. Actually, Iowa isn't a d the dumbest state. Oh, really? And which state is dumber? <laughs> His style is very distinct, but he's got a very broad canvas of, of, of abilities, let's say. Next year, he's working on a, on a musical. So, and he's also working uh, with the uh, Berkeley Opera this year to, for, to do a libretto for an opera. Petaluma has been home to the Cinnabar Theater since 1974. We are what's called a regional alternative theater, a rat, which I like that, I like being a rat. We're pretty independent, we do what we need to do, and, and I think that's what sets us apart, is we don't have rules. The rules come from 30-some years of doing this and finding out what works best for us. This is great stuff, I love the mix and match. Why does he come to, some, <laughs> to the country to work? Because here's a nice quiet place, a laboratory, we are his mice. We're willing okay. mice. Okay, so, um, and the one thing I started thinking about too, I wrote it down and I started thinking about why wasn't that one bit working? You have to look at a small venue. It's because, you know, you bring your wares and your tents into town and if it flops, you just sort of sneak into the night. I mean, you know, and then you get a chance to rework it. Even a, 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 a digital sound up there can be used too. We don't necessarily have to have an analog. We don't have to well, actually have a practical because you I might use... I could ask Stephen to try something like that as well. Yeah. He feels, yeah. as do I in many ways, that theater is... is is dying, and you've got two choices. You can go Broadway, yada, da 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 big, huge, or you can do, create works that smaller, uh, smaller uh, budgeted groups can afford to do. That's it, and you look really good that way, by the way. Distraught is a good look for you. I've written a lot of women's work, a lot more. Uh, the coloration of, of emotions allowed women on stage, I find, are interesting. Yeah, but these babies fight. Oh, yeah? Is that right? Yes. Well, we've been doing world premieres basically since we began 30 years ago. And with John O'Keefe, we have never been disappointed. We've always felt incredibly proud of the work. But it's very frightening. You see how boring that is? Yes, yes, yes. Dress the stage, find the light. Yes. Dress the stage, find the light. For example, here we are, what's uh, seven days out of, out of production, and we've got a new second act. <laughs> I think that this stuff here in terms of definition, well, I want you to guys to know those lines really well, because I, I, but I do, I mean those Cary Grant or whoever they are, oh, those, yeah. those lines, those lines, not the new ones. No, no, we lines. probably will not have a finished product until the night before we open. Do you think you're better than me? No, of course not. Would you drink from my glass? From your glass? <laughs> yes. I don't drink whiskey. Would you drink from my glass? Rhythm, I rhythm, rhythm. Why did glass? you replace the glass? Drink from your glass, drink from your glass. Glass, glass. You're a musician. Think of timbre. Think of the... Uh... I think he feels rejuvenated by his work with us and other uh, companies who had lost track of him are now uh, uh, re-interested in his work. So it has a lot of good reverberations for him. All of those microseconds are there. That's what the play's about, not the dialogue. I keep forgetting, okay? I'm ambitious. I want it to be on Broadway. I want to win the Nobel Prize. I want to go to Saturn and Elevator. I want to have everything. I'm a human being.